Yo, yo, what is up? So in this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and make our data table and we're going to go ahead and make our uh, little base item set up. So this will be um, the data table will be where we set all the information for our items and stuff. And then the base item will be um, this will be the parent class of all the child items that we'll have in the game. So, yeah, let's just hop into it. All right, so first thing I want to do is I want to go into our blueprints, structures, and I want to fix something that uh, I noticed in our item info structure. So if you go in here and you add a uh, armor info, uh, it kind of gives us all this information. And if we add another one, it gives us all this information again. We want to kind of separate our, uh, our armor type from the rest of this. So we're going to do kind of like what we did with our weapon info where we kind of separated um, our weapon type from the scaling info and stuff so we're just gonna fix that real quick so in our let's see equipment info structure right here uh, in our armor info so let's open our armor info structure uh, we want to attribute level required we're gonna delete this guy we're gonna add a variable called scaling info and i'm just gonna move this guy up here uh you can move things and structures with these little dots on the side it's kind of hard to see but if you grab these you can kind of move where they sit inside the structure you do the same thing with enums enums have the same thing you can grab them over here and reorganize them to where you want them so now when we click on armor info and add one um let's see oh wait a minute armor info scaling info let me delete that and add it Attribute type. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, scaling info. We need to go back and actually make this our scaling info struct. And we're going to make this an array. Now when we come back over here. Um, it's like we can get rid of... armor info attribute type so attribute type uh, we're just gonna get rid of that in our armor info structure so that when we add when we add scaling info that'll already just be in there and then we can just change the attribute level required in here so that way um that way, it's kind of separated because right now, the, the way we had it, if you just added these, it would add, um, we just had it so you just added armor info and it would, you know, it gave you the option to add different armor types. You probably don't want to do that for things that are the same armor type, so, yeah, we're just gonna change that up. So now when you come into item info and you see if you add armor info... You can just add scaling info rather than having to add a different armor type every time. So, yeah, we're just going to do that. Uh, we can close all of this down. We're going to go to our blueprints folder. We're going to make a new folder called data tables. We're going to open this guy up. And in this guy, we're going to go up to, we're going to right click, we're going to go up to miscellaneous, and we're going to add what's called a data table. And you see you get this little thing right here, it says pick row structure. So this goes based off of structures that you have. So we're going to use our item info structure, and we're going to press OK. We're just going to call this item info underscore DT for data table. And we're going to open this guy up. And as you can see inside the data table, it kind of gives you everything. If you look in the rows right here, it gives you everything that was inside of that structure that we made for our item info. And you can add, uh, if you click the add thing up here, it'll give you everything that we put inside 
inside that structure. Uh, looks like we already have an array element on our own. Yeah, let me go back and check that structure. Struct item info. Let's delete that because that's given us a default armor info. We don't want that. So yeah, so yeah. You see, it gives us all the stuff that was inside of our our uh, our structure. So that's kind of all we're gonna be doing with this for now. So I'm just gonna um remove that first item and we're just going to go ahead and make our base item so we're going to go to blueprints we're going to make a new folder called items we're going to open this guy up we're going to right click we're going to make a blueprint class actor called um base item underscore bp this is going to be the parent of all of our other items so what we want to do in here we're going to add a static mesh we're gonna call this item static and then we're gonna click on the top and then we're gonna add a skeletal mesh we're gonna call this item skeletal so this will control uh this will be for, you know for our static items item skeletal be for our skeletal items things like armor and stuff like that and then we're gonna add some variables down here we're gonna add a variable called item info and this is going to be type of our item info struct then we're going to add another variable called item name and this will be our item name uh enumerator and now if you click on the top you can see we have that up here our item info and you can choose the names of the items so all right, so now what we want to do is we want to hop into the uh, construction script right here. And we're going to right click and we're going to get data table row. And this is going to set our data table. So in the data table, we want this to be our item info data table. And then in the row name, what we want to do is we want to pull in our item name enumerator. We're going to pull off of this and we're going to set the item name to be the name that is in the uh, the the, uh, the name we have selected. So we're going to pull off of this and we're going to uh, go uh, enum to string like this. And then we're going to pull off of here and hook this into the row name like that. And then based off of what we have set here, we're going to set our item info. So you just plug that in plug that in and that'll set the item info based on what our item name is yeah so compile and save but we're gonna do some other things after this so let me pull up my my reference right here so after this we're gonna grab an is valid check well actually first let's just grab our item info Get item info. We're going to uh, pull off. We're going to break item info. And we're just going to pull this guy down. And we're going to pull off the, the mesh right here. And then we're going to get is valid. You want the one with the question mark right here. We're going to hook this guy up. And if the mesh is valid, we want to pull in our item static. We're going to set static mesh if it is valid we're going to set the static mesh to the mesh that is in our structure like that and then what we want to do is we want to pull off our equipment info off of right here and we're going to break that one open and we're going to get the skeletal mesh but before we do that uh, click on this guy right here and we can just hide unconnected pins to all the ones that we're not using like that make it a little cleaner and then off of here we're going to pull off of our skeletal mesh we're going to see is valid then we're going to hook this guy up so like that and before we really do anything here so off the this is valid we're going to pull off the is not valid 
and hook this guy into that is valid. So if this is not valid, then it'll check if this one is valid. So it'll just skip over. It'll just skip over the uh, setting the static mesh. Because if you have a skeletal mesh, you're probably not setting a st static mesh. So we're going to click on this guy. Hide unconnected pins. And then what we want to do here is pull in our item skeletal. And let me pull up my other reference. And we want to set skinned assets. So set skinned asset and update. Like that. And in the new mesh, we're going to set it to be our skeletal mesh right there. I'm just going to pull some of this stuff in. Give it a little tighter. And then, uh, we want to pull in our item static and set visibility. We're going to set that to be not visible because if we're using a skeletal mesh, we don't want to have, we don't really need that to be visible. Our item static. So, yeah, that's kind of all we're going to do right there. And, um, yeah, so that's all we're going to do in this one. So in, uh, our next inventory part, we'll go ahead and start setting up some, uh, some items. So, actually, something we could do in our item info structure, go into the structure, and on this item class, we can now actually change this from a boolean to be our base interactable, or our base, uh, base item, base item BP, uh, we're going to make that a class reference, like that, and as you can see now, on that item class, you can choose, you can choose the, uh, You can choose the class so so we'll just compile all this other stuff Let's just go do a save all real quick save there we go so yeah that's all we're gonna do in this one so in our next inventory part we'll go ahead and actually start setting up some items um that way we can you know get to work on our inventory start you know picking up items and adding them to the inventory and stuff so yeah, we're going to call it here for this one. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you're new around here, definitely subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know those down in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.